Little Orange Plum. Hello everyone and welcome to Little Orange Plum. So today we are looking at a little subreddit called r slash bad women's anatomy. So to start off with we have it's a burn that keeps on burning. Why do women train for ripped abs? Because they want to look like men. Truthfully it's gross. Lips, tits and hips. Men are simple. We want classic beauty of a feminine hourglass shape. At no time in history did men ever want women with ripped abs. Well, sorry, Sunny, but there are women who don't want to attract men at all. There are women who prioritize their strength and health over looking good for you. And guess what? There are men who like ripped abs. They exist, and any woman who has ever had a six pack can tell you that they not only exist, but they also are a little too aggressive in how they pursue the women they want. So, um, no part of that statement is true or reasonable. Like, really, dude? Do you literally think we exist just to look the way you want us to look? Anyway, James Fell responds with, Hi, historian here. I, can, I am comfortable in saying that at no time in history have women ever wanted you. Fair point. <laughs> Thanks, James. To which Michael Merrifield replies, and then replies, Hi, astronomer here, willing to go out on a limb and expand your assertion to the whole of space as well as time. Ouch. And I don't think it's fair for you to complain about it, my dear, because uh, guess what? You are willing to go out on a limb and be all like, uh, I assume that my tastes in women are true for all men, even though I haven't asked all men, and also that women should cater to my tastes so you don't cater to our tastes sorry sunny but uh yeah you're, you're not what we like so you don't need to worry about women looking like what you like next we have i had to share this why do men think vaginas get loose if you sleep with 30 different people but stays the same if you sleep with the same person 30 times and i know there's like all of this pseudoscience about vaginas being made out of memory foam I know there's always going to be a guy who's going to be like, uh, well, allow me to explain my bullshit hi shit hypothesis that is based on nothing but m misogyny. But, you know, at some point you're going to need to accept the reality that it doesn't hold up as a hypothetical logic to say that vaginas get loose like that. And also the science and the reality, reality should tell you not how vaginas work. We have Kegels. A girl can sleep with as many women, m as many different men as she wants, and then just use Kegels to stay tight. And the fact that she's doing her exercises actually has more to do with whether or not she stays tight than how many men she has slept with, because it's it's a muscle. It works the same way other muscles work. If you train it, it stays strong. If you don't, it gets weak. Just like every other muscle. Like, I know it always fascinates me that guys will be like, oh yeah, facts, facts um, versus your feelings kind of deal. You know, you get these guys who are like, facts don't care about your feelings. Women just need to, set, to accept biological realities when it's the biological reality that guys have hormones that cause them to train muscles easier. But when we try to tell you basic realities like the vagina is a muscle and the same science that applies to your biceps applies to it, it doesn't suddenly become a non-human element just because it's on a woman. Like, I know you want to act like it's a strange, mysterious thing, but it's basically the same as the rest of human flesh. No, guys want to act like there's some strange and mysterious thing. The vagina is so different to every other part of the body because that way you don't have to admit that my vagina is basically the same as any man's other muscles. Like, they function. They're both made of human flesh. They both function within the same parameters, with the same limitations. Like, I know you want to think that a vagina is completely inherently different to being a man, but it's still a human body part. It still functions like a human body part, so it's not that different to male body parts. Sorry to break your reality and your desperate need to be different from women, women but um, yeah. Anyway, next we have... Sadly, this is so true. Holy crap. Um... <laughs> Okay, blessed animation design. It is blessed indeed. It is very blessed. We have male design. Looks like a bird. Female design. Bird with boobs. Skinny bird with boobs, actually. Um, <laughs> yeah, it is amazing how understanding of anatomy disappears. And it's, it's, it's like, this is one of the things that was, what was it? It was Space Jam. One of the biggest criticisms that I and a lot of other people have of that movie is bunny boobs. 
Why are we putting boobs on animals that don't need boobs? Yes, it's a girl. We don't need it to have boobs in order to know that it's a girl. Pretty much all girls below the age of like 12 don't have boobs. Um, we still know they're girls. We still accept that they are girls, even though they don't have boobs. Why are we putting boobs on animals that don't have boobs? Especially because it seems to be an, in an, atten um, an attempt to sexualize this animal. Which I find very creepy and disturbing. But yes, that is very accurate. Don't make my vagina make decisions. What? Okay, next we have a confusing sentence. Have, hold on. Girls be having sex with multiple guys and then be all like, what do you mean you don't like my busted ravioli and how does it, how it doesn't close anymore? What? Do you not understand that it's like, what? What do you mean? Close anymore? I, do you, you know when guys have so little understanding of female anatomy that they'll describe it and you don't even know which body parts they're talking about or what they're talking about? Because it doesn't do that. It's not supposed to. Um... Tell me, based on this logic, what's the different? What's the difference? Does it make to the vagina when a girl one has se um, has safe sex with fifty different men and and two has safe e sex with one man fifty times? Based on your logic, it's safe to assume you would imagine the vagina would be busted up either way, right? Not quite. Vaginas try to permanently shape themselves based on the penis they're having sex with. So having sex with a bunch of different penises causes the vagina to wear out and lose its elasticity because it can't decide which shape to take. <sighs> I know you want to think that the world revolves around you and that vaginas revolve around you, but like, honey, at some point you're just going to need to accept the reality that the world does not revolve around you and no, vaginas don't change to accommodate you. They just exist. Like, I'm, I mean... I would say we need to tell the men and explain to them that this is not how this works, but obviously we, me, as in me and other girls, don't need to explain this to them. We need to have a guy sit down with them and be like, sorry my dude, you just need to understand that other people's bodies do not randomly adapt and change to- that's a scary thought, that these guys genuinely don't understand that other people's bodies are not designed with the explicit of intent of modifying themselves in order to accommodate your personal tastes. That's not how that works, sunshine. Sorry, but no. Anyway, next we have, ah oh yes, a realistic Elsa. Yay, ruining your childhood. Isn't this fun? Um, so we have very more realistic apparently means excessively large boobs, a dress that would not function as clothing in the real world, unrealistic hair expectations, um, and also she appears to be a professional figure dancer, and she appears to be a professional figure skater now, like she, she's in a frozen ice movie, maybe she is that good at figure skating, because most women don't have this amount of flexibility in their back and shoulders. You gotta train for that shit, and speaking as someone who did train for that shit, it takes a lot of work and is also quite painful and you're gonna need to dedicate several years of your life to this. So, um, achievable, but like not for normal people. And also those, those tits look very um, augmented. <laughs> like, sorry my dude, this is not realistic Elsa. This is, this is the um, porno version of Elsa. Just, wow. Like, how did you look at that outfit that's like literally just glued to her tits and thought, yes, women want to glue clothing to their tits. This seems realistic. Anyway, let's move on to yet another how me uh, men draw women, a visual depiction we have. Like, yeah, yeah, this is literally it. We have on the left, we've got like a sketch with like realistic proportions. And this is not like a whole, I know some guy's going to be like, oh, well, women want to be fat because me, 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 But like, this is realistic proportions of a very slender, straight up and down woman, like with very modest proportions. And then on the right, we have no organs. What you know, when they're like trying to draw, not trying not to give her two gigantic boulders and gigantic hips, but they also wanted to have really extreme curves. So they just like delete the organs. Like women don't need internal organs. They're not, ba they're basically not humans. They don't need these things to survive. And of course, the weird spine thing. I don't get what the things because I can, as I say, I've done my my ballet and my circus and my gymnastics training, so I can do some of these poses. But I don't understand is like, what, what, why do you want everyone to be a circus contortionist? Like it's it's quite a difficult profession to get into. Speaking from experience, 
Getting your spine to do this takes regular training. And I don't know why guys think that it's that easy for women to do, or why they think it's such a desirable thing. I, I don't, I'm, I'm confused. I am confused by the broken spine thingy. Anyway, let's finish out with one last post of the day. It's supposed to be funny, but it's not funny. Ew. Um, I, I was tempted for a second there to uh, censor this. It's, it's actually a sofa cushion. I promise it's a sofa cushion. We have when your sofa has had far too many men on it. Um, I would just like to point out that men tend to freak out when we complain about their dicks. When we're like, uh, your dick looks like a lumpy, veiny cyclops monster that it's also too small and doesn't last long enough. You get all like, no, you can't criticize us on your dicks. Women have unreasonable standards. But when women tell you some women are born like this, that's how, that's how the vagina is from birth, and it's just normal, and we shouldn't be told off for looking like this. Um suddenly we're all lying whores who are being unreasonable and are that's, that's the thing is the amount of times where women will be like you know what sometimes if you're into penetration then a big dick is better we're still totally going to admit I feel like I speak for all women here we're also totally willing to admit that sometimes guys with small dicks are better in bed because they acknowledge that they have hands and tongues and other body parts and they actually try you know um, <laughs> instead of just like assuming that they can just use their dick like, that's not how that works, Sunny. That's not how that works. But at no point do women ever sit there and go, oh, you have the, you have an unfortunately shaped penis. Obviously, you're a person of objectionable moral character because your dick is small. Like, that... Can you imagine if the guys had to deal with that kind of crap and had to deal with people saying shit like that? They would lose it. And yet, this is a daily, all-the-time occurrence for women of men trying to tell you that you're a bad person if you were bo born with a vagina that doesn't look the way that they think it should look, even though you're making it a clearly apparent that you don't know what it's supposed to look like. But you're still going to try... <sighs> that's the thing that's most fascinating about men. The amount of men who are completely uneducated and oblivious to what a vagina is supposed to look like, but they will still interject into a conversation about how vaginas are supposed to look and will tell people who actually have them, this is the way it's supposed to look, I have no education, I have no understanding of how it's supposed to look, but I am confident that I am right about this, you are wrong, and I will tell the rest of the world wholly too confidently that they need to change in order to accommodate my opinion of what something that I don't understand should look like even though I don't understand or know what it's supposed to look like. How? How do you have that level of confidence? I don't understand. How? Where does this come from? Like, I understand, like, you sit in a more entitled po portion of society than me, but, like, how do you have the confidence to interject into a conversation like that and have that much confidence about shit that you don't know? How? Anyway, I feel like this is where we're going to end this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. I would highly recommend following r slash Bad Women's Anatomy because we have get, we get a lot of funny stuff coming through the subreddit. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.